What's going on, little dap? It's Jared Munz, former pro and founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Today, we're learning how to do a back heel. A back heel is a deceptive, fancy way to pass a ball in your attacking third. It can also be a way to shoot if you're feeling real confident. There are different styles of back heels. This is one. Key points. Key point number one. Place your plant foot on the side of the ball closest to you. This, not this. Key point number two. Lock your ankle and point your toe up towards the sky. Key point number three. Make contact in the middle of the ball with your heel, not your studs on the bottom of your foot. Key point number four. You generate power from your knee down. Don't have a big leg swing. Key point number five. Don't follow through. Just a little pop will do. Key point number six. For accuracy, have the back of your shoulders face your target. If I want to pass to you, I face my back to you. If I want to pass to my teammate over there, I face my back to her. You need a ball and three cones. An exercise we can do to practice. Start off by practicing the technique without the ball. Once comfortable, get the ball and start practicing your back heel. Then repeat a few times until you're comfortable. A great time to do a back heel in a game is when a teammate is overlapping you or running by you with the defender on your back and you're running in the opposite direction. Example, I'm dribbling with my back to goal and a defender is on my back. A teammate is running around me and I back heel it to him right before he goes around me. To practice this, set up three cones like so. Dribble to the top cone, then back heel the ball between the two cones on the dribble. Then get the ball and repeat until you feel legit. Some things that could be going wrong. If you feel awkward doing this, you're taking too big of a leg swing. The power is from your knee down, not a big leg swing. If the ball isn't going very far when you back heel it, that is because you're using the studs on the bottom of your foot and hitting the top of the ball when you back heel it. Use your heel and hit the middle of the ball. Bonus tip, don't try a back heel every pass you make. Defenders will catch on to what you're doing and you will be called a show off. A back heel is a deceptive pass, meaning it's sneaky. You do a back heel one out of 30 passes, not 29 out of 30 passes. I do not recommend doing back heels in your defensive third because you will give your coach a heart attack. Plus, if you lose the ball near your goal, there's a higher chance that your mistake will lead to a goal. When your gut tells you to, try a back heel in your attacking third. If you mess up, so what? At least you had the confidence to try. Just react positive and hustle back on defense. Fans don't love Messi because he's a player that's scared to mess up. But when he does mess up, he gets on with it and reacts positive. Fans respect that. Hope you enjoyed this online soccer academy training video. Like, favorite, and share this video if you did. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube or sign up and become a member for free at OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Players all over the world use it and you can do game reviews and track your progress. Post a comment and let me know how this video worked for you. My name is Jared Muntz and remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Believe in it!